Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. How's everyone doing? Today I'm out with Abdullah is playing some football. Ah, alaikum salam, from Indonesia. Yes, so so nice. Nice weather today. But again, as soon as the as soon as the clouds hit and there's no sun, then it gets a little bit chilly. But it's beautiful weather today, mashallah. Someone is asking if I lost weight. I think so. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Remember yesterday, I asked you to have some questions ready when we have some uh, when we have a live session. So I hope that you have some, so we can have a discussion. Inshallah. Salam from Houston, Texas. Wa alaikum salam. I was just listening to uh, Masood Curtis. Asma Allah husna. Mashallah, it's beautiful. If you haven't listened to it, you should go listen to it. It's really beautiful. I was listening to it in the car after I listened to my salam and the salam song. <laughs> Say hi for Ache Indonesia. Apa kabar? Ache. بارك الله فيك دائما أخي الحبيب وفيكم بارك الله. I was reading your comments yesterday, mashallah, on Instagram. It's beautiful. It's so nice to read your comments. Read how, like you know, this song has affected you. My new song, Tassalam. If you haven't listened to it, by the way, go listen to it. Yalla, yalla. So it's really nice to see the effect that it has on uh, on you guys. Alhamdulillah, I'm happy that you like it. Already 500,000, half a million people have watched it from you guys. So, mashallah. Thank you for sharing and keep sharing the love. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam from Jakarta. Wa alaikum salam. Maher, it makes so happy the song, Wallahi. I mean, I think, I think you're talking about Ant Salam, of course. Assalamu alaikum from Uzbekistan. Wa alaikum salam wa barakatuh. I'm trying to read your name, but it's a little bit hard. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Missed it. Indonesia. Hi, Maher. Ramadan Kareem. I'm your Iranian fan. Wa alaikum salam. Ramadan Kareem. Kazakhstan. It's a huge soccer field. Anta <laughs> Salam is an amazing song, dear brother. Someone from Bangladesh. Mahbuba Islam. Mahbuba Islam. Mahbuba Islam, I think. I like your song, Ramadan. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum Jakarta. Salam from Gaza, Palestine. MashaAllah, tahiyya, tahiyya. Tahiyya kibira li Palestine. Wa sha'ab Palestine. Concerts in Belgium. Hmm. Salam Maher, any plans as concerts in Belgium? Um, I'm not sure, I don't think so. At least not during this, this time, Yani. We'll see, inshallah. 
Tajikistan. Salam from Turkey. Wa alaikum salam. Nasılsınız? How are you today? I'm good. Alhamdulillah. I'm feeling good. I didn't sleep so much. You know, we sleep so late in Ramadan and then yani the kids doesn't make it <laughs> kids doesn't don't don't make it easy on you. They come and jump on your head like in the morning. Everyone who have kids, <laughs> they know what I'm talking about. And the craziest thing is it doesn't matter if they sleep like at 4 a.m. They still wake up at 7 a.m. Allah is sadna. Allah is sadna means uh, may Allah help us. Assalamu alaikum in Masr. Where do you live? I live in Sweden. Stop. I have a low battery indication. <laughs> I didn't charge my phone today. What's this? Nine years old. <laughs> From Oman. From Malaysia, Indonesia, from Canada, still no questions. I mean, mostly, most like very few questions. We need more questions. Which is your favorite song from, uh, I mean, part from the song? Let me know your favorite part from the song. My favorite part is, uh, obviously, apart from uh, the chorus. Uh, I love the part where I say, all my life, doubting was, uh, all my life, I know you've been guiding me. You're the one, the one who knows my destiny. I'll be alright, I'm sure that you'll look after me. You know what's inside of me. You know, like if you listen to my song, Thank You Allah, I'm saying basically the same thing here. All my life, I know that you've been guiding me. And in, in thank you Allah, I say that as well. I forgot exactly what I say, but what I say in the message is that I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been guiding me all my life, but I didn't see it until I took the first step. Until I took the first step, and that's when you opened the doors for me. Yeah, that's what I say in thank you Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is truly like looking over us and know what's best for us. And... Um, you know, he's guiding us all the time, but sometimes we don't want to take that guidance and we want to take our own, you know, way. And that's when it turns out to be not good for us, you know. So I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been guiding me all my life because I, if I reflect back, I think about, you know, everything that happened in my life, all the new friends where I studied, you know, all these, all these kind of things like, I, I got to know, uh, uh, you know, some new friends. I changed my life and then I met some new friends. We started playing basketball. That changed my life. I met another, you know, like a uh, group of friends. I started with music, you know, I, I got into music even more. And then uh, from that, I got to know Red One, my, my, uh, my friend and producer. Everyone knows who Red One is. And, uh, and from there, that made me think when I was in New York, the whole thing, you know, everything that happened, I know that that is guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but I wasn't seeing that. Imagine since I was like a child, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been guiding me, but I didn't see that until I chose to take the first step, you know, first step towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened everything for me, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. So that's what I'm saying there. All my life, I know you've been guiding me. You're the one, the one who knows my destiny. I'll be all right. I'm sure that you'll look after me. You know what's inside of me. You know what's inside of me. You know how I feel. You know what's best for me. That's what it means, of course. So that's, one, that's my best part, favorite part from the song. Now I want to read yours. Hello from Jordan, Philippines, inshallah. Indonesia again. Do you know Bangla? I'm sorry. No, I don't know. I'm in Istanbul. Istanbul. Turkey, mashallah. Well, I miss, I miss traveling actually. 
I miss traveling. I miss, I miss going to Turkey. I miss going to Malaysia, so South Africa. I miss like, I miss going, having shows, meeting you all, and performing for you. But inshallah, we'll get back sooner. Sooner the so, sooner as we know, inshallah. Then we know. Sorry, my English is not. See, I haven't been traveling for a while now, so my English is not good. <laughs> it's never been good anyway. What do you think about COVID? Is it conspiracy? Please answer this. Jazakallah khair. Allah, I don't know, man. We shouldn't uh, believe in all these uh, conspiracy, conspiracy theories. We should be careful, I mean. Of course, there are some... I'm sure there are some true conspiracy... Uh, conspiracy, whatever it's called, theories. <laughs> but uh, we should be careful to what we believe in. But I'm not sure. Of course, obviously we have, yeah, yani, there are so many uh, people dying all around the world, and that's that's not a joke, yani, and that's no conspiracy. So, Allahu Alam. My favorite song is Medina. Yeah, I love Medina as well. I love Medina, the city, of course. Did you sing as a child? When did you start singing religious songs? I uh, didn't sing as a child. I actually started singing when I started making this music. And this is 2000 and... Uh, let me think. 2008, I started my album. So that's basically when I started singing. Just before that, I was working with Red One. I used to do some demos only. So uh, yeah, so I haven't been singing so long. I'm still I'm still development in the develop development uh, uh, stage. <laughs> and uh, when I started singing religious songs, yeah, that was when I was 27 years old. So about 12 12 years ago now, when I started with the awakening. <laughs> Are you going to make the Bahasa version song again? Are you going to make the Bahasa version song again? Uh, yes, inshallah. I'm sure I'm, I'll do one yani, in the future, but not for this one, probably. I don't know. Sumar 86. I am disappointed. Someone's writing, I think it's a. Uh, she, Sumar, or Samar, 86. I haven't heard the song yet, but I want to hear it. Sounds good from what you are singing. Tabiyallah, go quickly. If you haven't heard my song, Anta Salam, we released it yesterday. Ah. And uh, you go and listen to it now. Yalla, yalla, yalla. Did you work with Akon? I never worked with Akon, but I worked with Red One who worked with Akon. That rhymed actually. Sing, sing Ramadan, please. Ramadan, 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 ya Habib. Like Ramadan is such a beautiful month and the feeling in Ramadan is just undescribable. Everyone who feels that Ramadan feeling knows what I'm talking about. Even though we are in uh, this time, you know, we have uh, we are facing uh, the lockdowns and we cannot go to the masajid, etc. But um, the feeling, there's, there's, there's a special feeling about Ramadan, subhanAllah. When you're fasting, when you're reading Quran, when you are um, when you are uh, like doing the taraweeh and now as I said yesterday we are put into test like will we still even though we are at home and maybe there's no one mo motivating us motivating us maybe we want to we will be lazy we'll look you know look in our phones watch some TV series etc and we won't pray we won't do what we usually do in Ramadan so we are put into test Uzbekistan 
Tira tira ra ra ra. You see the problem with me, like that's why I'm moving so much. I cannot sit too long. I get like I get pain everywhere. So now I will lie down on the grass. Oh. Ah, sorry. Oof. My back. I'm getting old. I'm getting old, folks. Love from Canada. Well, like Canada, I miss going to Canada. Canada is a beautiful country, actually. I had, uh, I think I had like at least three tours in Canada and I visited like 10 cities in Canada it's really beautiful someone's saying open your eye please I cannot open my eyes the sun you know <laughs> the sun is killing me how did you learn to sing in Turkish well I never learned Turkish language but um, you know because I know I know Swedish Swedish has actually helped me a lot with a lot of languages when I sing like uh, Malay, like Turkish, like uh, you know because we have three letters that you guys in English or you know many languages you don't have that which are O, A, E, okay? So those those letters helped me a lot to, uh, to sing in many languages and the Turkish you have the U uh, when it's like, you know, na sul sun, for example, I write it in Swedish na sul sun. So now, when I read it, I know how I'm supposed to pronounce it, yani, or I try at least. So that's how. And I always have uh, my brother Mesut Curtis with me in the studio, helping me to uh, to uh, helping me to uh, do the pronunciation. And Emre, the producer, also Emre Mugul Kuch. You have never come to Nigeria and we want to see you. Yes, I haven't been in Nigeria, I think. Inshallah, one day, inshallah. When will you come? When will you come? Hello from Kosovo. Where are you now? Am I outdoor? With Abdullah, my son. He's playing football now, somewhere. Hello from Ukraine. Hello. Hello back. Mm -hmm. How about COVID-19 at your place? I mean, in Sweden, everyone knows that here in Sweden, we are getting a lot of criticism because life is still almost, almost as normal, pretty much. But obviously they have... Uh, like they haven't closed schools, but they have in public, you cannot be more than 50 people and you have to have distance of, uh, I think like a meter or two meters or at least an arm length. If you go out somewhere where, you know, like, uh, for example, like, uh, uh, like a restaurant or something. So you have to, buy, you have to keep the distance. Uh, schools are closed uh, from the age of, uh, uh, let me think, 14, I think. Take care of yourself at home, then you are, you don't go to school basically. So yeah, it's high school, I think it's called in English. Anyway, so yeah, um, so those stuff are the main differences, but otherwise, otherwise, subhanAllah, everything is uh, going at, as normal. Um, the government are urging us to take responsibility, uh, personal responsibilities and um, to be careful to wash our hands and, uh, you know, all the regular stuff like wash our hands, stay clean, don't put your, you know, um, hands in your eyes and your mouth, etc. Like I'm doing right now, <laughs> but I, I just used uh, this infection, uh, you know, that thingy. So, yeah, that's uh, the situation in Sweden when it comes to COVID-19. Inshallah, we can go back uh, to normal very soon, inshallah. All right, guys. I need to 
do some other stuff now. So thank you for uh, watching and uh, keep in touch. Keep sharing the love. If you haven't watched my song, Anta Salam, go to YouTube and type Maher Zain, Anta Salam. Watch it, share it, share it again, watch it again, watch it again, share it again. <laughs> All right. And uh, let me know in the comment section again, what do you think about the song? And which part is your favorite part? All right, guys. Yalla, take care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.